All right, welcome to my platform Con Talk today. Um, topic is measuring impact in platform engineering. Um, yeah, my name is Lambrus and I'm a PM in platform here at WISE. So um, we'll start with um, the company WISE, um, what we do, um, what our purpose is, and then how we are organized in platform here at WISE. Um, then we look at um, why it's important to measure the impact, um, how we think of impact in platform. So what are our KPIs? How do we know we are successful, right? And then ultimately, of course, ideally, we want to quantify impact in some kind of um, you know, monetary value. That would be the, the goal of today. OK, starting with WISE. So um, the WISE mission is yeah, money without borders, instant, convenient, transparent, and eventually free. Um, the company has evolved from being, yeah, say, mainly a, a cross-border money transfer service to a very comprehensive and compelling product offering offering like you know, 50 currencies, um, different um, account types, business accounts, assets, interest. We even um, power some companies like Monzo or Stripe to make use of the WISE offering. It's become the, the one place to manage your money, really. Um, today, we have yeah, 16 million customers responsible for 9 billion uh, pounds of cross-border volume per month, 50 currencies supported, and we have 5,000 employees. Cool. Platform um, advice. Yeah, we are 15 teams, 90 engineers, four squads, and we have around yeah, 700 or so internal users. So those are engineers, advice, scientists, um, sorry, data, data scientists, data analysts, and so on, using our platform. You can see here we have four squads. Um, basically, yeah, we, we offer storage, compute, networking, right, developer tooling make the reports ship fast, um, SRE um, tools to yeah, manage incidents, but also machine learning or data warehousing offerings. Cool, so why measure impact? Um, basically, it's it's um, it's three things for us. First of all, if you wanna apply a yeah, product mindset to platform, right? You have to understand, you have to define what is the right thing to do, right? You have to have evidence, and this means you have to measure the impact of your work to actually come come to a compelling strategy, right? For instance, should we improve documentation for engineers or reduce incidents from happening, right? That's something you have to define in your strategy and you have to measure impact to get there. Also, we have to prioritize our work, right? We always have more ideas and we have resources. So should we reduce the build time of 5% or should we increase our utilization by 2%, right? You have to make this comparable so we can actually prioritize the work. And then lastly, this is about um, investment in platform. So if we don't know what if we don't know what impact we make, right, we can't make um, good decisions of where to spend our money. All right. So um, now, how do we think of impact in platform here at Wise? Um, our platform mission is build foundations that enable teams to ship confidently, quickly, efficiently, and without compromising stability. So this really informs our, let's say, four North Star KPIs, productivity, stability, efficiency, and risk. And those are what we think our biggest levers to make an impact on WISE, like on the WISE mission, right? Um, so we want to enable teams to ship fast, right? Productivity, build a WISE that um, is reliable, right? Um, um, empower the mission zero, make sure we actually become eventually free, and do all of this in wise risk appetite. So if you want to understand a little more about how we um, got to those four NOSA KPIs and how we break those down in KPI trees, check out this blog post here. Um, for now, I'm just going to um, use some simplified KPI trees for each of them so we can understand what impact means for platform. So um, first one is productivity, right? Again, trying to make teams more productive, save engineering hours, right? Bring WISE to its mission faster, really. So how do we do this? Um, there are a few levers we have, lead time, onboarding time, developer happiness. This is what platform can do, right, to impact um, productivity. Um, there's stability as well. Of course, we have to um, make sure customers trust us and can always rely on us, right? Again, platform here has two levers. You can reduce the number of bad things happening, incidents, right? Or you can 
um, try to recover from them very fast, minimize the impact. Again, platform partly owns this as well. And efficiency, as I said earlier, um, eventually frees our mission, right? So productivity is basically trying to keep the um, input stable, right? And maximize the output. Efficiency means we try to keep the output stable, minimize the input. So become more efficient, right? Platform, of course, we own all the cloud cost, vendor cost, and so on that we can impact as well. And then there is risk. Um, now we want to, of course, uh, make sure risk stays in its risk appetite and we control the risks and protect our customers and the business. Um, there are a few risks that company, the platform, sorry, owns, right, as well. Compliance, scalability, security, and by mitigating those risks or minimizing the impact of those risks, right, we can, of course, also make an impact. All right, so now quantifying impact in, in pounds. Um, why is this important or any kind of other currency you prefer, right? Um, so we saw what KPIs we measure, and what we think we can do to contribute to the WISE mission. Now, why do we have to quantify this in pounds, right? A few reasons for that. First of all, um, it is the business language. So if we as platform tell our um, stakeholders, yeah, well, we reduced lead time by 5%, they say, congrats, um, but what does this mean, right? So we have to speak in, in the business language. Then there's the ROI, right? So without measuring the impact in, in pounds, you cannot know if the effort is worth it. We also cannot compare initiatives by their ROI, right? And lastly, again, comes down to investments. So if we don't have this common denominator for sizing um, ideas or opportunities, we can't compare them and we can't make good decisions of where to invest our money. So now question is, of course, how do we get from those North Star KPIs and KPI trees all the way down to actual monetary values and, and let's say pounds? We're going to go through each of those and understand um, in a simplified way, of course, how we do this. First of all, um, yeah, productivity impact. This, again, as we said earlier, usually is engineering, engineering hours or developer times that we free up, right, as platform. So um, there is, an, let's say, more naive approach to do that. You can just say, you know, um, we saved one developer hour uh, or one developer. What's the cost of the developer? Well, this is a cost saving, right? Well, we look at it differently. If we save or free up developer hours, we don't reduce our headcount, right? No, we use those um, freed up people to push the wise roadmap forward, right? To accelerate the roadmap. So we want to really understand well, what is the impact of an engineer that we have at WISE and how did we accelerate the impact by saving them time. Example, right? We choose to build time for Java engineers by two minutes. Um, of course, you have to know how many builds are there per day. Again, this is why we need the KPI trees that we saw earlier, right? You have to understand your user base, who is target audience, and you have to understand the impact of engineers at WISE. And you can then quantify that and get to 10,000 pounds impact on productivity. So you may ask, well, how the hell am I getting to this engineering impact per hour? Uh, that's a good question, right? Well, you have to understand, you have to try to understand what is the, the impact an engineer has, like what is the impact of a new feature, right? Every quarter on average, for instance. This is something you have to quantify and then can use this in that calculation. Um, then we have also stability impact. Um, again, this comes down to two things. Um, the impact of incidents per minute of them being open, right, or having a damage or financial loss, and the time it takes to recover from incidents. Um, impact important, right? It's not only something that happens immediately. Let's say if WISE is down for a minute, of course, we have revenue loss because we can support our customers. Um, but there's also a longer term loss. So we always calculate the customer and the, the impact of incidents in immediate impact plus long-term impact, such as increased customer contact rate, which we can also quantify, right? So example, speeding up the time it takes to find the right on-call team by one minute. So the impact, let's say, of on-call incidents, we know is around 10,000 pounds per average per minute, right? On average per minute. We know that we have around um, two incidents um, per quarter. Now, if we reduce this time by one minute, right, um, we can have a 20,000 pounds impact on stability. All right, so then we have, um, yeah, sorry, no. So now you can already see, right, how we can compare 
those two um, ideas, right? We have an idea or um, you know, an initiative in productivity and stability. Now we have that common denominator we can actually make them comparable, right? And then decide what to work on first or yeah, what, what to do if you only have time for one of them. So then we have efficiency. Efficiency impact is again, mainly cost saving for us. Efficiency impact usually comes to a price for a price though, right? So um, if, you if you reduce cost, usually it means you sacrifice one of the other three North Star KPIs, let's say risk or you know productivity or whatever it might be. So um, you have to again, quantify that and um, try to understand the negative impact. What sacrifice do you have, right? Example, we want to incre increase our compute utilization by a few percentage, right? Become more efficient. We know that the cost saving of this is around 20,000 pounds. But um, we know that if we become more efficient or higher utilized, we can't, let's say, react to traffic spikes anymore, right? That rapidly. There's a risk of that. So 5,000 pounds is a risk. So we subtract that risk and we get to the efficiency impact of 15,000 pounds. Also important here is that um, usually those kind of um, efficiency impact calculations have a compound effect, right? So it doesn't mean you have a one-time saving, but they usually add up. So if you want to do the ROI calculation, um, you can do this quarterly, yearly, or two, two, two years, and so on, right? So have those compound effect part of your calculation. And then we have risk impact. Now, risk is usually what we think of. What is the risk impact or the, the, the risk score um, in pounds before our idea or initiative is in place and after, right? So how do we quantify risk? We, of course, it is in pounds at the end. We try to quantify risk as financial loss in pounds multiplied by the chance of this risk actually materializing, right? And if we can compare the risk before and after, we can then understand the impact of our initiative. Example, right? Um, let's say we have a risk that a bad actor is deploying a change to production, right? If this actually happens, we think it's going to cost us 50,000 pounds. We know that this risk today is likely to happen. Um, so we do some work now, right? Let's say we improve our, our change management or whatever it might be, right? And this now becomes unlikely. Um, so the impact that we had is the risk before and after, right? Um, is now 75,000 pounds risk impact. Um, cool. All right. So takeaways. Um, well, there are a few things today we learned, right? First of all, measuring impact is important to apply a really product mindset, right? To platform, identifying what is the right things to do. How can we define a strategy? What are our biggest problems and opportunities? Then there is, of course, also the prioritization part of it. If we don't quantify impact, we can't prioritize our work, can't know what we have to do first. And then lastly, um, if we can measure impact and quantify it in, in uh, monetary terms, it helps us make good decisions about platform investments. We advise think of impact um, in, in three, let's say, North Star um, KPIs, which are productivity, stability, efficiency, and risk. This is what we think. Um, is our contribution to the WISE mission. And we can quantify those, measure those, have KPI trees and so on. And then lastly, well, we can use certain calculations. We can use um, math to come from those KPIs to actually a quantifiable impact, right? Which then helps us to um, talk the business language, helps us to get to an ROI, right? And helps us to make better decisions of where to invest our money. Um, yeah. That was it from my side. Um, thank you for listening and enjoy the rest of PlatformCon. Thank you.